Welcome to Overlocus.com. The information in this video assumes that you have already submitted an order on our website with your GPS coordinates. If you have not done so or do not understand yet how to do so, please refer back to the first video. In this video, we will look at the different parts of the online editor and how to use them. The Overlocus image editor was designed to give you a full range of options that allow you to fully customize your print. At the top of the image editor are three tabs showing the tools available. When you select a tab, it becomes red, indicating that it is the active tab. These tabs include the drawing tab for creating curved or straight lines, a text tab for adding type, and the image tab for selecting and inserting stock images. At the bottom of the image editor, you will see a set of tools used to manipulate the position, the scale, and the state of the image that you're working on. The first tool at the bottom is the photo hand. This hand will allow you to move the property photo around inside of the working window. To use it, simply click and hold the mouse on the property photo, and the image will then move when you move your mouse. When you have the image adjusted the way that you like, release the mouse and the image stays in place. When the hand tool is not active, the icon color will be white, but when the hand tool is active, the icon will turn red. To use a different editing tool, click the hand tool until it turns white in order to deactivate the hand tool. The photo zoom tool increases and decreases the overall scale of the photo. Move the slider to the left to decrease the size and also to the right to increase the size. The undo and redo feature allows the user to step backwards or forwards in the order that the image has been edited. For example, let's say that you are trying to draw a red line and then you notice that the color is blue. Simply hit the undo button and you will go backwards one step in your editing process. The same is true for the redo button, which will send you forward one step in your process. Once you have completed all of the editing desired for your print, the final step is to simply hit the send image button at the bottom of the screen and your draft image is sent directly to the Overlocus graphics team to refine your image and ensure the best print quality. Once you have sent your image, you will not be able to go back and make changes to the original draft. Proceed to the next few videos to learn how to use the drawing, text, and image features of the online editor.